All right, good morning, people of the internet. This is my Tenere 700. I just bought it a couple of days ago, uh, and I decided that I wanted to make a series on uh, ownership of this bike and me becoming a better rider. Currently, I would say I am a very novice rider. I've been riding for six years, but I never really tried to push my motorcycle skills. So come with me as I learn about this bike, learn about me as a motorcycle rider, follow some of, I do plan on posting some maintenance and, and repair videos, things like that. I am five foot four, 150 pounds, and this bike is very intimidating to me. It is very tall, very heavy, and I would say I am scared of it. This bike is not stock. There are a couple things done to it. Uh, first thing is the factory 18 millimeter lowering links that I put on. I also had the seat shaved down about an inch, inch and a half. I also raised the forks up through the triple clamps a little bit to match the lowering links down here. As you can see, I also have a center stand right here. And I did mount some bar risers, uh, which I'm not sure that I like yet, but they do bring the bars up and back a little bit. I did feel like I was reaching forward a little bit. In terms of luggage, I have the Krieger OS base. These are just the six liter packs. I actually bought them on accident. I, I thought they would come with two 12s, but actually it's 12 liters total, so it comes with two sixes. So let's go ahead and get this bike started. You guys can hear how it sounds. I think it sounds wonderful for a stock bike. Stock exhaust, I mean. So I don't want to rev it too hard. There are only, uh, let's take a look. How many miles are on this thing so far? One hundred and sixty-eight. Oh, we'll go ahead and cycle through. Because I went through too fast. One sixty-eight. So definitely part of the break-in period still. I am torn at what to follow. The ownership manual says that for the first 600 miles, you should keep it below 5,000 revs, which I find as impossible. Even cruising on the highway at 60 miles an hour, I am beyond... 5,000 RPM. So I did watch a Fortnite video of him breaking in an engine and Ryan recommends kind of going up and down through the rev range, not staying too steady, but using the entirety of the bike, uh, the bike's revs and gears. Ari, I, Ari Henning, I saw, did a video where he took one bike and just really throttled it hard and one where they babied the engine and they could barely tell the difference in terms of how it was broken in so i'm not too worried about it i am not riding this thing to redline uh taking it fairly easy but i'm not thinking too hard about breaking it in so i just got off of work and uh i'm gonna go pick up some sandwiches for me and me and the lady so as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, I cannot touch with both feet down. I can, uh, maybe, no, I can't. Uh, so I am definitely kind of waddling the bike a little bit left and right. Now I am used to riding taller bikes. My bike before this was a 1997 BMW F650. However, this Tenere is definitely taller than that. I hope that when I get confident enough, when I become a good enough rider, I can put the stock seat back on and raise the bike back to its normal height. Right now, the shaved seat that I have is very, very uncomfortable. I would say it's not so much the height of the seat 
Uh, it's the width of the seat. I wish I could make the seat more narrow. That would really help me touch the ground better, easier. So I like leaving my uh, dash on the coolant temperature. I just feel like it gives me an idea of, of how the bike's doing. Now I've had this bike for about four, three or four days now, and I am absolutely in love with it. I've ridden it every day. Coming from a 1997 carbureted single cylinder bike, this is so modern. I know this is one of the more bare bones adventure bikes on the market. It doesn't have cruise control, no traction control, nothing like that, only ABS. And that's kind of what drew me towards this bike. I really wanted something that was simple, that would last a long time, reliable. I was tired of spending hours in the garage fixing old bikes. So some goals of this channel, this series, as I kind of mentioned already, I want to take you guys through ownership, my experiencing, my experience owning this motorcycle. I want to make some repair DIY kind of videos. And I also want to take trips. I mentioned earlier, I'm a novice rider. Really all I've done is commute to and from work. That's kind of the reason I bought a motorcycle in the first place. I would like to expand and increase my skills on two wheels. I've never really experienced off-road other than a super easy gravel road. I've never toured more than 200 miles in a day and I'm hoping to just branch out in my journey as a motorcyclist. So the one word that always comes to mind when I ride this bike and try to describe it is smooth. That's what I always come back to. Everything is smooth. The throttle, the shifts, everything. I think one of the biggest things that's holding me back is just confidence, especially stopping on my right foot. I'm pretty good when I come to a stop leaning to my left and, and kind of scooching my bum over to get my left foot flat but I am not very comfortable doing it on, on the right. So that's something I will need to practice. Uh, slow speed turns, of course, I'm gonna need to practice those. If you guys have any tips or criticisms on how I ride or anything like that, please, please, please let me know. I will not take it personally. This is a journey that I am taking to try and become better and I will not be offended if you call me out on, on some of my riding technique. I need it. All right, onto the highway. This is only the second ride that I've done with these handlebar risers. This morning when I rode, I was a little bit unsure about them. I felt like they were a little too high. The stock bars were way too forward. I was leaning, my back was hurting, and it was just very uncomfortable after a short period of time. These ones brought it up an inch, brought it back towards me an inch. I do like how close it is to me now. I feel like my back is in a better place posture. I'm not quite sure about that one inch higher though. When I get home I may try to twist the bars a little bit 
towards me just to try to level it out a little bit, but I do worry about the cable length as well. I don't really want to mess with those. So we shall see, but honestly right now it's pretty, feeling pretty comfortable. No complaints at the moment. As you can see, cruising six gear at uh, highway speeds, I would say uh, I am pretty close to that 5,000 RPM mark. So, through the limited time that I've had this bike, it's really surprised me. Of course, I've been on the internet day and night, reading on different reviews, looking up this bike, looking up the KTM 790, 890, BMW F750, 850, Suzuki uh, V-Strum 800 and 1050. There were a couple negatives that I was worried about with this bike. I saw people complaining that this one was, that the T7 was top heavy. However, this is all relative, right? I'm coming off of really, really old motorcycles that are really heavy and just don't carry the weight very well. This bike, even though it's 30 to 40 pounds heavier than my old bike, it is so much easier to maneuver. I feel like it is much more agile. Pushing it around in the garage feels so much easier than my old bike. So I'm, coming, I'm a guy who does not ride these super new modern bikes. And maybe if I did ride them, I would absolutely hate this but I haven't and this T7 does everything that I wanted to it is so smooth so buttery I can't really comment too much on it feeling top heavier or anything like that so that's where I'm at right now I am absolutely in love with this bike I think I just need to build my confidence that's the key to everything confidence It does get picked up in the crosswinds pretty good. It's not terribly windy today. But yesterday I was riding on this exact same bridge and I was definitely getting caught up. Not to the point where I felt scared or where I was swaying within the lane a lot. But you can definitely feel a wiggle. There is some wind buffeting at the very top of my helmet. I'm not wearing the most aerodynamic helmet I'm wearing a Bell MX-9 and I can definitely tell the visor is getting caught in the wind oh it's cold up here a couple of other things that I love I've never had a gear indicator before that's been really nice I've never had a fuel gauge before that's really nice. I know this is a very, very limited LCD display, but it has more than enough, I feel. More than what I've had. So yeah, I think once I get those heat bars, I'll be much more comfortable. I know I'm gonna drop this bike and it's inevitable. so nice and pretty right now, you know? It's gonna hurt my soul. My first drop is gonna break my heart. Oh, I just love open freeway. One of my main riding goals is to take a trip to Seattle. I would love to go through some of the back roads of Oregon and visit one of my really good friends who lives up there. That is what I'm working my way up to. I do need to kind of accumulate some gear. I would like a tail dry bag. Other than that, 
I'm ready for it. Let's do our best here. Now I am not the most aggressive rider out here. I have been in a accident once, an accident once, and I was lane splitting when it happened. Of course we're here in California where lane splitting or filtering is legal. I had my accident in my second, one and a half second year of riding. And even though it wasn't my fault, someone didn't signal and, and came out, switched lanes. I, it was avoidable. I could have avoided it. I was going probably a little faster than I should have. I just wasn't smart. I didn't know where that I, I need to be positioned, where to be positioned to be seen the best. Uh, and that's kind of something that I've kind of picked up over the years. And I'm trying to be better at it if we're moving. I try not to lane split, but I think I'm going to here. I hate just stopping on the freeway and having to put feet down. Check for other bikes. Let's go. We'll hit the hazards. We'll hit the high beam. Get it all going. The wave, thank you for this nice Mercedes. Okay, let's get off the highway here. We are so close to the best sandwich. I've ever had. My favorite sandwich. We'll try a little trail breaking here. Oh yeah, very nice. Man, I love motorcycles. Motorcycles are so much fun. One thing I do want to touch on is these brakes. They're definitely squishy. They, I, I wish there was more, for sure. Oof, had to switch, seat, switch uh, feet real quick. Oh, we're starting in second gear, okay. Just go easy on the clutch. Okay, we are here. Santoro's Italian Market and Deli. The best sandwich I have ever had. So, one of the more annoying things about having the lowering links is that the side stand clearance is not the best. I haven't had any issues with it so far, but I do have to lean it over to the right a lot sometimes before I can get it down. Other than that, I don't feel like it's 
not lean enough where it's kind of sketchy. I don't mind it too much. I think it's just something I'm going to have to get used to. If it does bother me a ton, maybe I'll just switch out the stand with uh, an adjustable one. Anyway, guys, be right back. Let me go and grab my sandwich. Okay, got my lovely sandwiches right here. Might as well take the opportunity to show you guys this Krieger bag. Go ahead and slide these sandwiches in. May have to adjust these straps just a touch so that you can open the bag all the way. There we go. Nice. Protect the goods. Zip up my phone pocket. I always forget. And then I get all paranoid when I'm on the road. That my stuff is just going to fling out. Alrighty, let's hit the road. We're pretty close to home. I will uh, show you guys those sandwiches when we get there. So we are on the island of Alameda. If you guys have never been here, I would highly recommend checking it out. I love it here. Everything is uh, very cute. A lot of family owned places still. Of course, not as much as before, but I guess that's kind of everywhere, huh? Alameda is still a place where people will say hi to you when you walk by them. I love that about it. It's not for everybody. But it's definitely charming for me in a little town like this. So I just took out my earplugs because I'm fairly close to home. And man, does this sound, does this bike sound amazing. Gosh, love it. And this is a stock pipe. So good. Okay, moment of truth. Best sandwich I've ever had. Oh, baby. That is some Dutch crunch. Turkey, oil, vinegar, tomatoes, lettuce, pickles, mayo, mustard. Mm, look at that. Perfect. Look at how it's built. Mmm. 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 I have my two buggers over here. Stay. Alright guys, peace out.